Good day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, so I have an IBM Selectric, the 721, the first version of the Selectric, and mine uses the cloth ribbon cartridge, which I really love. And the great thing about the Selectrics, of course, is you have the interchangeable type ball elements, so it gives you a wide variety of uh, typefaces. I also have several Daisy Wheel electronic print wheel typewriters. One of the machines is the Brother, and it has 10, 12, and 15 characters per inch. And I just recently, last month when I made a trip over to Arizona, I got a 15 character per inch print wheel for that machine. And I thought, hey, you know, there's something maybe you can do with 15 characters per inch that you can't do with 10 or 12. This is the Brother SX4000. It has variable 10, 12, or 15 pitch typing. So look, I have a Brother print wheel in Brome 10. So you can use this either 10 or 12, depends on how scrunched in you prefer. And then I have a script print wheel. This is a Raro type. These are still available new, by the way, from Raro type. So this is a 10 or 12 script. You can use either one, but in the machine, I have a 15 character per inch print wheel. Yes, in the machine I have a Quadro 15 print wheel, and it is really cool. So having a typewriter with 10 or 12 characters per inch is nothing really extraordinary, except in the case of IBM Selectrix and Daisy Wheel typewriters, you get your choice of either one by switching them out and maybe flipping a switch on the machine, but Having 15 characters per inch is not that common. There are a few manual type R machines in roughly 15 characters per inch. They're not that common, but having a daisy wheel typewriter in 15 is really cool. Not every daisy wheel typewriter did that, by the way, but having that option is really neat because of the things you can do with such small size type. So here on top is an example of the Brome 10 print wheel at 10 characters per inch. These are uh, typings from the first paragraph of Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. And you can see the standard 10 character per inch spacing. And then I've taken the same 10 character per inch Brome print wheel and I've set the machine to 12 characters per inch. I actually kind of like the look of this a little better. I think at 10, looks a little spaced out, I mean, because it's a mono-spaced typeface, but having the letters a little bit closer together, I don't know, maybe makes it slightly more readable to me. And then we have the same paragraph typed in the Quadro 15 print wheel at 15 characters per inch. And what stands out to me is it is so much smaller because not only, of course, the spacing of the characters is 15 instead of 10, but the point size, that is the height of the letters, is much smaller. It's proportional to the 15 character per inch spacing. So I think it is a dramatically different looking typeface from the standard 10 or 12 as you see here. With 15 characters per inch, a person can make nice short little paragraphs, narrow columns of text that still have significant amounts of room for the sentences. They're great for newsletters, brochures, bulletins, where you're typing narrow columns of text. Well, another nice thing about having really small typings is you can take like an old postcard like this that has a pretty small area for text, and you can type up an adhesive label and get quite a bit of text in your postcard. You can almost make it a one-page letter. It kind of fits a lot of words into a small postcard area. I think this is one of the best uses for this 15 CPI print wheel. Another good use for 15 character per inch typeface is recipe cards on 3x5 index cards. You can put a lot of information on one card, a complete recipe, which makes it very convenient. You can add all your ingredients and all the cooking instructions, so it makes doing recipes quite nice. In fact, I think that's one of the best use cases for a 15 character per inch print wheel is recipes. 
And here's another little tip. If you are typing on tiny pieces of paper with your 15 CPI print wheel, you might have a problem where the paper slips when it gets down toward the bottom. What you want to do is use a zigzag folded piece of paper. Just make kind of two pleats and make a zigzag and then I usually tape the edges of the pleat so it stays, the pocket in there stays a little bit tighter. But yeah, you can slip your piece of paper now in there, roll this thing in your typewriter and you'll have plenty of paper for the feed rollers to grip so you can type down to the bottom of your little card or your little adhesive letter sticker for your postcard. I think it's a great idea. Another thing that's possible with a 15 character per inch typeface is if you have your everyday carry notebook with these small sheets of paper, you can unbind the ACO binder and you can take a sheet out and you can type a blog article and each of these pages is blogger style, blogger size, right? So you have a narrow column of text. When you post it on your blog, it becomes readable with a, a mobile device screen size. And, you know, if your hobby is uh, espionage or something like that, you can uh, also uh, type these tiny little messages. And what I did here is I used single line spacing, but then I reverse indexed back up one half line. So I, the lines are very tightly compressed. And so now you have a tiny little message that you can conceal in something and put it in a message drop somewhere where your your agent can find it, or you, wherever you guys agreed upon. So yeah, so if you're a spy, 15 character per inch uh, print wheel is probably what you want to use. Uh, but also make sure you uh, throw away the uh, ribbon cartridge afterwards because, you know, and I would argue that having 15 character per inch capability and having the print wheels themselves is almost a surefire argument for having a daisy wheel typewriter in the first place. Because it gives you the ability to do something with this machine that none of your other typewriters can do. Well, these are just a few of the things you can do with a 15 character per inch print wheel. I think there's a lot more possibilities there for someone that wants to be creative with it. But it is quite different than 10 or 12 character per inch, especially because the point size of the characters is so much shorter. And I really like the look of it. I think for personal letters on half size sheets of paper, it's probably a really good way to go. So there is a one possibility here that might sway you over into getting a daisy wheel typewriter that offers 15 character per inch, which I think is a great feature and a really good reason to have one of these machines around, if for no other reason than that. And as always, I wish you the very best. Stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye bye for now.